Hello everyone and welcome to this example recording on nodal analysis. So in this example we're going to be determining the voltage V1 and V0 using uh, nodal analysis. Different from the previous example you'll notice here that we've got two nodes, particular nodes that we'll be working from. So we're going to have two equations with two unknowns. Okay so let's start off with node 1. Uh, node V1, we're going to indicate the current directions. So let's uh, select the directions. So we're going to say that that's the current directions in node V1. Node V0, we're going to select those as the current directions. All right. And similarly to the pre similar to the previous example, we can interchange these two components so that we are able to express the the current that's flowing in this particular branch. So we 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 we, we would we can interchange them. Uh, in this case, we don't particularly need to because we have the voltage before as V zero. The voltage at this point would be the zero volts, and then a drop of uh, twenty volts. So the voltage at this point then will be 0 minus 20, which gives you a voltage of negative 20, such that when you do the expression of the current here, you can say V0 minus minus 20 divided by 8. So if we start with this, we're going to say KCL node V1. And we're going to say the current that's flowing up there will be given as 40 minus v1 over 1 and this is going to give us v1 minus v0 over 2 plus the current 5 amps okay if we simplify this expression our common factor of 2 we're going to say 80 minus 2 v1 is going to give us v1 minus v0 plus 10 which is 5 times 2 so if we simplify this, we're going to say it will become 80 minus 10 is going to be 70 is equals to 3V1 minus the voltage V0. And this will be our first equation. Our second equation will come from KVL, KCL rather, KCL uh, node V0, where we will then be um, doing the KCL in that node. So the currents going in will be 5 amps plus V1 minus V0 over 2 gives us the currents going out V0 over 4 plus V0 minus, so the voltage there minus the voltage there, which will be minus minus 20 divided by 8. All right, therefore 5 over 1 plus V1 minus V0 over 2 is going to give us V0 over 4 plus V0 plus 20 all divided by 8. We can select a common factor here of 8. So 8 times 5, that will be 40 plus uh, uh, what we do from 2 to get to 8, it will be multiplied by 4, so it will be 4V1 minus 4V0 gives you, 4 to 8 is 2, so it will be 2V0 plus V0 plus 20. If we further simplify this then, we will say, um, if we put all the variables on the left hand side, so that will be V1, so it will be 4V1 and we have minus 4v0 minus 2v0 minus v0 so that will be minus 7v0 and that's going to give us uh, 20 minus 40 so that will give us minus 20 and this will be our second equation all right so these are the two equations that we have and we can now solve for the voltage v1 and v2 um, if we um, solving for this, you can use either your Kramer's rule or you can simply use your calculator to solve. So I'm going to use the calculator in this instance where I'm going to select the equation mode with the um, linear, uh, two linear equations with two unknowns. 
I'm going to put the coefficients. So my coefficients are 3 minus 1 in 70. So 3 minus 1 and 7, 0. And the coefficients for my second equations, second equation is 4 minus 7 and minus 20. So 4 minus 7 and minus 20. All right, and that gives me a value for the 0 of 30, oh, sorry, a value for V1. of 30 volts and a value for V0 of 20 volts. And this is the final voltage for V1 and V0 using nodal analysis. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the course.